Hey guys, I'm out here working on our Project 944 and today I thought I would show you how to gap your speed and reference sensors. So alright, here are the items we're going to be using. First we're going to need some tape to cover the hole in the bell housing because we do not want to lose any bolts down in there. Next you're going to want a universal joint and a 10 millimeter socket. This is for removing the speed sensor. Next you'll want a 6 millimeter hex key and this is for loosening the bracket. Next you'll want an old sensor that you don't care much about because we're going to cut the end of it off. And finally a feeler gauge so that way we can find a washer that is 0.8 of a millimeter. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is taking a piece of tape and putting it over the hole in our bell housing. Sorry guys, it is kinda hard to see here, but I do have tape over my OT hole there. It's just to the left of the reference sensor bracket. And I thought before I went any further, I could show you what I'm going to be doing on a spare engine that is already out. Sorry guys, here's an engine that I already have out of the car and I thought that this one would be better to demonstrate on so that way you can really see what I'm doing. Here is the large hole that I'm going to be putting a piece of tape over and you'll want to make sure you do this the very first thing because we will be removing this bolt here and it has a tendency to fall in this hole. And uh, if you ever remove your bracket, this bolt especially loves to get down in that hole. So you don't want that. You want to make sure that you've got this taped up and you never have to worry about losing a bolt. So here's another look at the speed and reference sensors. You can see that they go down in these two holes there. And when you're gapping them, basically what you're doing is watch the right side. It goes up and down and that is the one that you will be tightening and that is what will set the gap. For demonstration purposes, I thought that I would remove the bell housing so that way we could get a better look at what's going on. As you can see here, the bracket goes up and down like this, which increases and decreases the gap between the ring gear and the sensor. We are looking for a gap of 0.8 millimeters. So I'll take my feeler gauge here and try and set it underneath. And to permanently keep this gap, all you need to do is tighten this bolt here and when we remove the feeler gauge this gap is permanently set. Unfortunately we can't actually gap our sensors like this since you do eventually have to put the bell housing back on and the sensors would be in the way. That means you would have to remove this bracket and then lose the gap that you've set. So what we're going to do here is take a washer that is 0.8 millimeters and then glue it on the bottom of the sensor here so that way we can use this to gap our reference sensors with the bell housing on. So I've got this old sensor here. It doesn't work anymore so what I thought I would do was turn it into a tool so that way I could perfectly gap my sensors every time. Now I won't be needing this rubber o-ring here so I'm going to go ahead and get it off here. Next I am going to cut the lead off. And I've got some super glue here because I have found a washer that is 0.8 millimeters. And what I'm going to do is glue it to the tip of my sensor here. So here is the tool that I made and I gotta say it looks pretty good. And what we'll do is drop it down in our speed and reference sensor bracket and we will insert the bolt here and tighten it up first. And once you have your bolt tightened up here, you just need to let the sensor rest here against the ring gear and then you will come up here and tighten down the bolts on your bracket.
Now when you remove this and you insert your other sensor, you will have the perfect gap. Once you've tightened everything down, just drop your speed and reference sensor in that you'll be using and you'll see that your gap is now perfectly set. So now that we have our tool, what I need to do is set the gap on our Project 944. Now you can see here that I've not done anything but put the bolts into the reference sensor bracket. And what I'll be doing is removing the speed sensor here in the front and inserting our tool. I've got my tool down in there I'm going to be tightening the bolt all the way down you're going to make sure that it is tightened all the way down because it will affect your gap if it isn't with this tool in now all I need to do is tighten the bolts on my bracket there and that's it all right once you have the bolts in your bracket tightened down you're ready to go ahead and remove your tool. So all right guys, once your gap is set with your tool, you can put your speed sensor back in and tighten it down. And this job is done. So hopefully I made a daunting job a little bit easier for you guys and here's another look at the tool that I used and this makes the job so much easier and I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you next time when I'm going to be putting the exhaust back on this car <laughs>